All right, so a lot of you have been interested in the 5PD API for creating callouts and stuff, and it's been one of our highly requested tutorials in order to do this. So I wanted to cover up how you're going to set up your workspace, how you're going to get the files you need to get, and how to get started pretty much on creating callouts. Now, this video will not go over the coding of the callouts at all. This video is only going over the API setup on how you drag in the API files and how you get everything set up and referenced into your uh, environment for coding. Episode 2, which will release next week, will go over the beginning to calling, actually coding into the callouts and getting the base set up. So, one thing you're going to need is either Visual Studio or Writer. I use Writer. Writer costs about $13 a month or $200 a year, depending on what you use. Um, it just pretty much changes. Instead of using Visual Studio, which is like the free version of what Microsoft gives out and everything, um, you obviously you can use this. This is like the most common thing to use. Writer uses a new UI and changes up the ease and the flow of stuff. I will be using Writer. But regardless of what you use, you have the different, um, even if you have a different UI by using Visual Studio, studio um, you will still have the same code so this tutorial is fine for either both steps so all you need to do is either download visual studio or download writer if you download visual studio just go ahead and set it up like you do in the xe file same with writer once you do that all you have to do is go over to the 5pd website go to the 5pd page and then go ahead and click download make sure you selected the latest version then it will download a .rar file go ahead and open up the .rar file Inside this, you're going to go into your 5PD folder and scroll down to where you see calloutapi.net. You're going to create a new folder somewhere on your desktop and name it like 5PD um, libs or whatever you want to call it. Go ahead and drag that calloutapi.net.dll uh, into that folder and you can see it is now inside of the folder over here. You're going to go ahead and close this. Go to your 5M shortcut, right click, press open file location, go into your 5M application data, citizen, CLR2, lib mono 4.5 then scroll down or scroll up depending on which way your thing is until you see the citizenfx.core.dll select this go to right click press copy go to your other folder your 5pd libs folder and go ahead and press paste and these are the two files you're going to need to go ahead and code your callouts inside of 5pd you're then going to go ahead and open writer wherever you have writer set up it's going to say get Breen's writer 2020.1.0 or 0.1 whatever you're using so once you go ahead and open this up it's going to take a second to load you can either open up writer or you can open up visual studio depending on what you're using inside of writer the first thing you're going to see is you're going to see this nice little ui here you're going to go ahead and create a new solution Make sure your project is labeled under .NET class library and name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it YouTube tutorial. Make sure you don't type in the search bar and rather the class library file, YouTube tutorial one. Go ahead and press create. It will then open up this new file and you can see if you're used to IntelliJ or used to using any of the other JetBrains routing, JetBain, I can't speak today, uh, JetBeans um, coding programs, clearly you'll know this UI pretty well. So inside of this, you can see it's already created us a custom class and a custom dependencies folder and everything. If you're in Visual Studios, it will kind of look the same, but it may look a little bit different. I can't really help if it's Visual Studio, as I am pretty good at Writer and IntelliJ products and stuff. I will not be that helpful in Visual Studios, but of course, if you have a question, try to leave it down in the comments and I'll be happy to help you out on it. Then go ahead and right click your dependencies folder, press add reference, go to add from, go to Go to your desktop, wherever your desktop is located, find that folder you created. For us, it's 5PD libs, and go ahead and click on the call at api.net.dll. You're going to do the exact same thing. Go to dependencies, add reference, add from citizenfx.core.dll, and let it load, and you're done. You are ready to start calling, coding your callouts and everything. If you have this Windows Defender notification, just go ahead and click fix, press configure automatically. When it opens up on or pops up on your screen, just press yes to allowing administrator, and then in a second it will go away and it will say it's been configured correctly. And you are ready to start call, coding your callouts, and we will go over this in the next video later this week. Um, thank you to the users wanting to get into coding callouts. They're actually really, really cool. Um, I wanted to do this each step of the way. So downloading and getting all your programs and references into your files, and then we're going to actually go into coding it next time. So thank you so much for watching.